Hey Arrowheads, welcome back to Queen Consolidated, a Southgate Media Group podcast dedicated to all things related to Arrow over on the CW. I'm Phil, and joining me as always is the wonderful Lil. Hey guys! And once again, we are still on break, so we are diving into book two of The Outsider's War. Secret Origin. Origin. And not the secret origin of Felicity Smith. <laughs> that's that's why Lilith agreed to read this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah. Where to even start with this? This is like uh they start to get a little more in depth about what happened. So mm-hmm. it's like, hey. Let's let's see. A, a lot more uh Survival of the fittest and a lot more torture even. Uh, TV. Water torture, our favorite as Americans. <laughs> but yeah, a lot more torture than the TV show. Well, that they would let us see anyway. Nah, true. I fully believe that the, the five years has been retconned and they really screwed the pooch. So I'd be interested to see what the real five year plan was. I think it was to have the most mer- like different mercenaries come to the island and him not really leave. Yeah, I was gonna say you think it's him being on the island for the full five years because that's when they first started that show. That's what I thought they were gonna do. Yeah. But anyway, back to this book. Yeah. <laughs> um. So basically, it's like years ago, we kind of see like a flashback. Basically, Oliver gets shaken by two masked men, and they're like, "What are you doing on our island?" And then. Their leader's like, don't be harsh. Uh, he'll lose consciousness. And they're like, are you alone? And I was like, yeah, yeah, of course. And I was in a shipwreck. And it's kind of like that scene on the uh, when he gets uh, Yao Fei. That, that whole scene is what it kind of reminded me of. Mm-hmm. And then they start the water torture. They're like, tell us the truth. Why are you really on this island? We're going to let you die slow. Like, okay, yikes. <laughs> no. Uh, the present day stuff's not so great though. I, I just don't dig this shadow. I just don't dig this one. Well, I think uh, the present day stuff was a lot of build up and it was, you know, filling in the gaps between the uh, flashback stuff. Yeah. They're like, they're in the tomb of the Arrow Clan in the present day stuff. And then, like, that that's like, um, everybody else seems like they've gone missing. It's kind of like a Roanoke kind of situation. Mm-hmm. But then, like, I feel like Shadow's like a zombie. Like she's just like, I have a goal and I'm gonna do it. Ah, she's so unconcerned about everything, you know. I th- I think that's what really bothers me. Yeah, they were. That, that's the one problem with like New Fifty Two Shadow. I don't think they really like flesh trout enough. Yeah, like they're not asking the big questions, and you know Oliver's really like concerned. Like this all can't be a coincidence, you mm-hmm. know. And then, like, he's very frustrated by, like, the constant mystery. And she's, you know, she's just like, well, you should already know, blah, blah, blah. It's mm-hmm. like, okay, PTSD, or, like, what's going on here, you know? Mm-hmm. Plus, we get two, in the present, we get two pages of uh, Katana. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. Mm-hmm. Um, they do kind of get distracted by this, like, sounds of drums or something. And it's apparently the S.H.I.E.L.D. clan which was set in motion last issue. So we kind of cut to the bad guys, or maybe not the bad guys. Well, San Francisco, Japan town. And I'm just like, oh god, that's so cool. Although they do really have one in San Francisco. Mm-hmm. Uh, Katana receives like a quote-unquote unwelcome visit from Magus, and he's like, she's talking to her sword, obviously. Well, not, she charges at him with her sword. Mm-hmm. It's just like, is that really needed? <laughs> mm, I don't know. Like, there, it's like this is a lot of exposition, I guess. And, like, just to be honest, like, the whole totem feels like a Megazord. I was like, what am I reading? Power Rangers? <laughs> Actually, the Power Rangers comic book is kind of better than the TV show in season four. Just saying. Oh! Um, <laughs> well, no, seriously. <laughs> anyway... Uh, they talk about how they're all connected, the outsiders are. And he's like, if you come with me, I can answer every question. And, uh, you know, but there's going to, of course, have to be blood to be spilt or whatever. And then cut to, like, 
Shadow and Oliver are trying to take down the Shield Clan with their arrows, but like these enemies are actually way sweeter than the League of Assassins on Arrow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're actually really good. And they can block every shot. And they're not. I like that. That's one of my favorite, actually. They're not led by Malcolm Merlin. (laughs) I know, right? Um, And then he's like got all these trick arrows and shadows. Like, really, dude? Really? (laughs) What did I tell you about these damn trick arrows? Um, And then Oliver actually manages to take out the remainder of the Shield Clan with said trick arrows, but he fails to anticipate that their leader was going to be stronger. Their leader's Kodiak. And then it's like, you know what? We're not going to fight. We're just going to run. And I have a secret hiding place in mind. And I was like, that is so show Oliver, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's always got a little secret hiding hole that nobody knows about. Uh, the place where they run is... Uh, uh, what was that place? Where he was tortured or whatever? Well, um, this just looks like a like a shack or something they build her. Yeah, I don't know. Then we kind of cut back again where they were, uh, quote unquote, stripping the last remaining parts of Oliver Queen or whatever. And I was just like, oh, I could use more torture, actually. <laughs> <laughs> was that just me? I don't know. Well, I think there was more torture. They just didn't. Oh, well, like the show, they didn't show it all. I mean. Maybe they thought it would have been repetitive, or they just didn't want to go there. I kind of like this, though, that it's kind of a parallel to the TV show, that the TV show kind of stole from it. It's like, whatever, like, whatever Oliver has to do, if he wants to live, the old Oliver Queen has to die. Mm-hmm. So I, I like that kind of parallel to the show, actually. In the first two seasons, they did a pretty good job of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, he lashes out, knocks over the chair, he frees his bonds, and, like, he's trying to, like, get out of there with, like, basically a splinter of wood. Like, really, dude? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it was it said that was weird? It was a big one. It was short. <laughs> uh, then Oliver puts, like, the splinter into his neck, supposedly killing him. And then he's like, yeah, this is so nobody can ever hurt me again. And I'm like, did this just turn into a Lifetime movie? No one can know my secret. <laughs> Not even me. Clack. <laughs> <laughs> um, then Oliver leads uh, Shadow back to the camp where he was tortured. And she's like, this is just another example of how things are coming full circle. One second. This little puppy's getting away. Like, none of this is a coincidence. And then... The truth is that Oliver was never stranded on the island. It was planned. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> that was messed up. Yeah. I was going to say, should, should we reveal the figure who whose whole idea Not this yet. was? Not okay. Because I was going to say. Well, they, they reveal it kind of, sort of. Well, at the, at the last the last page, yeah. But I was going to say, because he plays a, a role in the next uh, chapter, so. Yeah, I think, well, since they do show it in this, we'll talk about it. Uh, She goes, you know, the torture that he endured for weeks really was a test. And Mm -hmm. then the escape was his training. And then the man who did all of that was his father, Robert Queen, who was alive. It has been living in here since he supposedly died. And this got me so hyped. I was like, the one thing that I want the TV show to steal from this comic book is Robert Queen is alive. I want Papa Queen back so bad. And now that on Arrow, well, in the Arrowverse, shall I say, we know that on Earth 2, Robert Queen is like the hood. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like, I need I need that to be followed up on. I don't need that to be an Easter egg. I need that to be followed up on. So, hashtag Prometheus is Papa Queen. Deal with it. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, E2 Papa Queen anyway. But yeah, I, I loved it. Like, they were so, like I said last week, um, they were so heavy uh, with the hints about Robert Queen and everything that mm-hmm. this actually wasn't even spoiled for me on Twitter. So. Oh, really? Was this spoiled for you on Twitter? No. When I first read it, no. Yeah. So. <laughs> I, I don't know. I loved it. Like, this is like my. 
this is like number three out of this run. Hmm. No, number two, actually. This issue is number two out of this run, which is only like, what, five issues? Six, I think. Six, yeah. So, it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. So, what did you think about that? Um, what, the whole father thing? Yeah. I thought it was interesting. I was like... I mean, because, like, in a lot of superhero, uh, in the superhero genre, you know, it's like the death of a parent or someone close who, you know, that's the motivation. It's just like, all of a sudden, you know, everything Oliver thought he believed was a lie. As, yeah. I mean, about his father. His father was, like, a big role model, and then all of a sudden he's, you know... So I think was it in another part he's just like, you know, I was there when mom was dying. Where the hell were you? Yeah. And let's not forget the torture. <laughs> I just like I, I was like, okay, but when this happened, I was like, okay, so this has to be like an evil doppelganger. This has to be a trick. This can't be the real Robert Queen, right? Like it has to be a twist to this. So like, that was my initial, like, you know, thoughts about it. Like, because the implications of that, if this is actually really what they want to establish as canon, this is, like, way darker. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, that that's, the, that's where the story ends for this week. But I just remember initially reading this and thinking, wow, this is so good. This can go so many ways. So, what was your favorite panel? Um, I like the one panel where, I don't know, I guess one of the, one of the shield clan throws the shield at him and he kind of like slides on his knees under the, under the shield and then comes up and shoots him with an arrow. Yes, that was a good one. I like the flashback, most of the flashback stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those were good. You know what I would like? I would like them to take, like I said, I think it's six issues, take the covers to all of these and make them like one big poster. Ooh, yeah, that would be cool. Because I, I think each one has, you know, has like the different clans the on it. Like yeah. this one's the S.H.I.E.L.D. clan, of course. And... You, seriously, though, like real talk, I'm telling you, like the face on this particular cover looks so much like Justin Hartley. Like <laughs> It does, yeah. It's just like, um, is he trying to throw shade like secretly at the TV show? Because <laughs> I mean, let's be real, that outside of ending up with Chloe, uh, he was more more Green Arrow ish <laughs> at the time. <laughs> the, the, the on the TV show, what was being written? I'm just saying, I always feel like people throw shade a lot. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, he was. I mean, talking about trying to be Batman. That kid, that one was trying to be. A full on Batman because well, they... he was like that was the plan. But well, yeah, that's what I was gonna say turn. because they couldn't get they couldn't get Batman the the rights or whatever for Smallville, so they put in Green Era. Yeah, so <laughs> Smallville. I can't wait till we talk about uh, season six, episode one. Oh, yeah. for one of our many uh, vaca vacations that we have. I know we have one coming up in like February, and then there's another one in March. So there's plenty of time to talk about Green Arrow on Smallville. Um, who was your favorite character in this issue? Um, probably, uh, probably Oliver in the flashbacks. I liked Katana. I like that we were bringing her back into the fold. Mm -hmm. I just like that. I don't know. Just I don't know. Just the whole thing. You know, all of. Oliver's transformation and then just realizing every well and then in the present and he realizes everything was a lie, was a lie. Yeah. <sighs> outsiders are really interesting so it was just kind of like uh I didn't really I didn't really know where the whole totem thing was going and I was mm -hmm. just like, but yeah I was like okay we got Katana so you know I'm happy <laughs> Uh, what would you give this as a great? Um, I'd probably give it a, uh, it was a lot of setup, but I mean, it was still good. I'd probably give it a B plus. Yeah, I gave it, I gave it a solid B. The, the, and it would have, honestly, it would have been a C had they not revealed, like, the Robert Queen thing at the end. Like, they yeah. Like, think until the next one. Yeah, that definitely brings it up. Yeah. So, uh... Feel free to let us know what your uh, thoughts are on this issue. If you're reading along, if you've read this before, 
uh, how you feel about Robert Cream being alive and what those implications were you initially thought they were going to be and did they live up to your expectations. Uh, you can do that by writing to us at queenconsolidated.smg at gmail.com or you can leave us a comment on the Facebook, facebook.com forward slash queenconsolidated or tweet to us at qc underscore smg pod. And, uh, yeah, I think. And also, make sure, if, when you're on Facebook and Twitter, just follow Legends of DC there. And on uh, Twitter, it's at Legends of DC Pod. So, since we're already in the shameless plug, still. <laughs> okay. Where can the lovely folks find you? And if you would like to discuss anything DC, comic books, TV, movies, or even Marvel, uh, nightwingpdp at gmail.com. And please follow me on Twitter at nightwingpdp. And what's before the bat doing? Um, well, we did like our <laughs> we did our nine part Christmas special, and I think we we wanted to try to do some Batman sixty six before Gotham came back. Okay. So keep an eye out for all that. And Lilith, what are you up to these days? Oh, nothing. Just <laughs> tooling around the internet at Lilith Hellfire and pretty much everywhere on social media at at Adventures in FG. Please be sure to check out my blog, Adventures and Fangirling. Some really exciting stuff coming up in the new year. Interviews, uh, maybe something, something new podcast, something, something YouTube, possibly. <laughs> so be on the lookout for that. And uh, just keep listening to this podcast in our Legends of DC feed. Do you want me to take us out? Yep. All right, everyone. I know the, the, we're still in the middle of our long break. It might feel like you're stuck on a hellish island. Well, at least your father didn't set it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. But uh, Lilith and I are here to rescue you. And New Year is coming. And it's all good. So join us next time for part three of the Outsiders War. Until then, this is Queen Consolidated signing off.